Hello everybody and welcome to my 21st Visual Basic in Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to cover mouse events uh, well not mouse events, uh, any kind of Excel events so uh, instead of putting code for events in modules you need to put it in the object that that event is going to relate to so the first one I'm going to do is before saving it's going to come up with a message so let's go to workbook and let's um, click on here go to workbook and then this allows you to choose a variety of different events from here so we want to go for before save and we don't want this workbook to open one so let's go before save what do we want to do so message box and this is just to show you that the code's working so you are about to save so let's go back into here and if we click save you're about to save uh, and then it asks us where to save and I didn't really want to save it because uh, well I don't really need it so let's just show you again so you are about to save so you can use it for a variety of different things um, you could use it to abort, abort the save you could use it to like calculate the sheet before the save happens or do something crazy to the sheet or clear things off like make the values nothing so it doesn't take up, take up as much disk, disk space um, you can do pretty well anything you want so another one that's quite cool to use is if you go onto a sheet you've also got to go into worksheet and then you've got all the things for worksheet so if we go into activate and then put message box uh, Welcome to sheet one. Then, whenever we go on to sheet one, then uh, or activate sheet one, as I should say, um, that will come up, and it will do it every time that event happens. It's not going to happen just the once, and you don't need to use anything to command that event. Um, you don't have to press all F8. You don't have to assign the macro to any buttons or anything like that. Um, You'll notice that on some of the things you have, so let's say on change, so worksheet underscore change, there's arguments. And when they have arguments such as this, these arg arguments are automatically given to you as variables when that event happens. So on this one, when the worksheet changes, it's going to throw you a variable uh, called target, which is the range that you've changed. So what I'm going to do is uh, if I go into sheet 2 um, the sheet 2 we want worksheet and change we don't want selection change um, and we want to say if target so this is a range so you can do whatever you want with this say um, what might be quite cool to do is target dot interior dot color index equals and let's go for 25 that nice blue that we had uh, before and then so if we're on sheet 2 and we change something then it turns blue which is exciting it's quite nice for drawing pictures um, if we change some go on something and press delete then everything we've selected changes because it's passing the whole range of everything we've done um, let's say we try to change it to white then it just changes it to blue anyway it doesn't really care um, or white oh, no, it was just because I was doing text instead um, so there we go but if then I go back in and do it I could just press and delete again so it's mending changing all of them um, then that turns them all blue again um, the other thing we can do is if we do actually change the text to white uh, so we can see it then I'm going to change this from uh, to 2 and I can't remember whether that's black or white or it could be red or it could be any colour probably I'm not very good at remembering which one that they are so if target dot value so whatever range you've selected um, if its value is equal to 
one, then and if. Right, so let's go on to this. So now, if we change things, then it's not going to do anything. But if we put a one in one, then it changes it to white. Um, and I don't really like it changing it to white. I kind of want it to be a different colour. So let's try a 56. And I'm not even sure if that is one. But we'll try it anyway. So one. And that gives us a nice weird like charcoal colour, which is quite nice. And, uh, you can pre create pretty pretty patterns with this, which is nice. Um, and you can do whatever you want with that. You can make it say, if they uh, add anything in, you can change it. It's, it's kind of a nice alternative to conditional formatting, really, especially when, when with conditional formatting, uh, you only get um, three options. This you can use to do as many options as you like by going, uh, if it equals one, then that, or if it equals uh, two, then that, or you could even go um, target dot color index equals target dot value, which would be interesting because it means whatever number we type in here, that's the color it's going to be. So if we keep going down, that's that's quite cool. I like that. Um, but um, so sometimes you you mess up by writing a number that's too high. Say uh, forty five. It was apparently the same color, and um, oh, it's probably because I uh, not stopped the thing. Say forty five and seven ten away. It's a nice orange. But um, that's basically events. The next tutorial is going to go into functions, um, which link in with events quite nicely because you can uh, then call one of your subs from. Uh, an event happening. So thanks for listening. If you uh, would like to catch into future tutorials then please subscribe to my channel and um, I hope to catch you soon.